Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and in this special edition of Earth from Space, we are once again at the Living Planet Symposium in Prague, and I'm speaking with Noelle Gormala from the University of Edinburgh. And now I understand that you have developed a new technique for processing cryosat data. Now, with the cryosat satellite, we're looking at ice. Can you tell me a bit about this technique? Yes. Um, so before cryosat. Uh, to measure the precisely the position of the elevation that we are getting out of altimetry, uh, we were relying on external information, so reference DMs. Uh, cryosat has what we call an interferometer, uh, and basically it gives us uh, it measures where the elevation is taken from, um, and that's also so that means that we know where the elevation uh, is much more accurately, um, and that we can also extract much more of this information, uh, much more of elevation every time the satellite sends a pulse. And what is the advantage to using this technique? So with this technique, we can get in an order one or two order of magnitude more elevation uh, per uh, uh, cryosat measurements. Um, and that means we can increase the resolution of the topography that we are getting out of, of, of cryosat. Um, and uh, we can also um, cover a, a given area much more rapidly because we have a swath of about five kilometers width now with, with, with this technique. Uh, and that means we can increase the temporal resolution of the topography that we are measuring <coughs> about a factor of 35 when it's um, over a small region. Now what new results have emerged from using this technique? So we, we basically produc produced um, high resolution uh, DM, so image of the topography of the, of the ice sheet, so Greenland and Antarctic ice sheet. Um, and what we can see, for example, is um, uh, very, very detailed uh, events such as subglacial lakes. So these are uh, this is what pockets of water stored at the base of the of the ice sheet, which sometimes drains and create a, a surface depression. Uh, and we can map this much more accurately now with with this technical SWAS. Uh, cryosat. Um, and it, for an, uh, an example of a lake in Antarctica where we retrieve the uh, volume uh, with about 30% uh, increased accuracy. Now why do we need to map the topography of ice sheets? Um, it is a very important information for uh, ice sheet modelers so to predict the behavior of ice sheet in the future given uh, some climate scenarios. But also more importantly, it's, um, it's you when you look at the time variability of this topography, uh, you can measure volume change of ice sheet and ice caps, uh, and then turn that into mass balance, uh, and which also then <coughs> contribute to the quantification of sea level change, so the contribution of ice sheets and ice caps to change in sea level. Well, well thank you so much for joining us. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space or about our planet, you can visit our website at www.isa.int.